And Hamilton's oldest high school unveiled a new war memorial honoring alumni who died in the World Wars and uncovered more names and information in the process. After three years of research by the faculty, the school's wall of honor increased from 59 names to 74. Jason Gaidola has a story. Today is indeed a historic day in the rich and storied history of Cathedral High School. Many of the names etched in stone at Cathedral High School's old war memorial now have faces and stories on a new wall of honor. Today, the 110-year-old school remembered 74 of its alumni who died during the World Wars, a memorial which now features photos, more information about their service, and the day they were killed. In attendance were faculty, alumni, and Hamilton Bishop Douglas Crosby, who blessed the monument on a special day. It's actually 75 years since Bishop Ryan blessed the original memorial statue of Mary, so it's... Uh, it's quite an amazing uh, thing and it's a great, great honor and, and so appropriate. During a school assembly, current students paid homage to its fallen heroes. We remember the valor, the courage, the fortitude. At least 10 memorialized veterans had family in attendance as well. He, he volunteered very young um, and went to serve with the British. He ended up in the Royal Air Force. He was a gunner um, on a Lancaster and uh, he survived his tour of 30 missions. He joined the Dam Buster Squadron afterwards. Um, his crew stayed on and they, uh, they were killed during the mission. This initiative involved extensive and painstaking research. Science teacher by trade, Cathedral's Vince Lepore and faculty became historians, spending three years researching and planning the new monument. Efforts that included tracking down relatives and more. But public archives, uh, military museums, um, all sorts of military uh, groups and organizations. We uh, follow the, uh, the idea. We, we left no stone unturned. According to Lepore, more than 500 former students served in the Second World War alone, history that resonates with the student body. They have a great uh, level of gratitude and appreciation for these um, cathedral alumni, many of whom were only uh, one or two years older than they currently are. Jason Guidola, CHCH News.